to my channel maybe third time lucky i'll <laughs> do something right oh my god this has been a day all right i am um, you may see the outline change on this little project this is a project that i'm doing it's a peppermint purple design uh in black work and it's ireland it's um ice dyed fabric by me if you're interested and i'm using silk 707 i believe um, I have had to rip this back trying to get it to meet up and it's eventually done that at the last minute today. So I'm here and I'm doing some Irish facts so please come and join me and have a little bit of fun with me. Um, although it's a little bit less spontaneous second time around I will do my best. First time around I had had my mic muted. Isn't that always fun? Any of you creators out there who know what it's like? It's like oh god seriously all right so i'm just getting back to the beginning of my irish facts there's some interesting stuff in here all right on average the irish will consume 131.1 liters of beer per year putting them in the fourth place in the world for the highest per capita beer consumption the harp is the official symbol of ireland making it the only country in the world with an instrument as its national symbol unlike australia where we eat our national symbols Irish Gaelic is the official language in Ireland, but only 3,800 fluent speakers remain. As of 2017, Ireland has won the Eurovision Song Contest seven times, which is more than any other country. Now, back when we first hosted um, the Eurovision Song Contest, not the very first win, but it was in the 90s when we won it and Riverdance came to fame. So we won it and Riverdance was the interlude show. And we completely blew the world's mind on that occasion. We then won it that year. And then we won it again. So that was two years in a row. And we were going to win it third time around. And we ended up having to throw in the towel, put in a really shit song so that we didn't win because we were going to go broke if we ran the Eurovision for a third year running. But we were absolutely nailing it on the Eurovision circuit for a number of years in a row. It was an awesome, awesome time to be in Ireland. Anyway, moving on. Because it's an island, Ireland has no snakes, moles or weasels. The oldest bar in the world is in the middle of Ireland, dating back to 900 AD, Sean's Bar, and it's over 1,100 years old. I've never heard of this place. Halloween originated in Ireland from a festival called Samhain. It marked the end of the harvest season and the beginning of winter. An Irish scientist, John Tyndall, sorry, is, in per is the person who has found the reason for the sky being blue. Uh, St. Patrick was not Irish. He was the son of Romans who were living in Britain. It's believed he was kidnapped at age 16 and taken to Ireland where he helped herd sheep. An Irishman, James Hoban, designed both of the White Houses in the United States. I did not know that there were two White Houses in the United States. In Dublin, there is one pub for every 100 people. Unlike in Dingle, where there is a pub for every week of the year. Ireland has the lowest annual number of reported UFO sightings in Europe. Located in Ireland, Hook Lighthouse is the oldest working lighthouse in the world. It dates back to around 1200 AD. Irish land was not fit for grain agriculture until modern machinery and fertilisers of the 20th century. This is the main reason why potatoes were the staple food from the 17th century and on. The world's oldest yacht club is in Royal Cork Yacht Club, founded in 1720. Cork being down towards the bottom on the right hand side. On January 1st, 1801, the Union Jack flag was flown for the first time in Dublin to commemorate the union between Great Britain and Ireland. Guinness is the biggest beer brand in Ireland. It's the largest brewer of stout style beer in the world. Uh, the original Guinness brewery in Dublin has 9,000 year old lease at a constant rate of $70 per year. This is true. Ireland is called Era in Irish. 
Ireland has one of, sorry, Ireland was one of the original 12 European nations to begin using the euro currency in 2002. Blasphemy is still illegal in Ireland. Off the coast of Dublin, there is an island with a population of wallabies. They were introduced in the 1950s due to an overcrowding issue at Dublin Zoo. I did not know this when I lived there. It is a strange Irish birthday tradition to lift the birthday child upside down and gently tap his head on the floor a number of times of his age, plus one. Now, I don't think that is actually true anymore, or at least it wasn't when I was a kid. What they used to do is you'd have one person on each arm and leg, so you'd have four people around you, and they'd throw you up in the air, to, you know, keeping hold of your arms and legs, and they'd give you what was called the bumps. Now, they didn't bump you on the ground, but it may have been where this bump tr name tradition has come from. But they would do that for each year and then they would do one for the next year. Hurling is an ancient Irish sport with prehistoric origins. It has been played for 3,000 years and is considered the fastest field sport in the world. It's quite a good game to go and watch. Um, it's, uh, yeah, too hard to explain. Before the Great Famine, Ireland's population was estimated at 8 million. Today it has 4 million, well it's actually got 4.8, and the population has still not recovered. Until the 1920s, on St Bridget's Day and February 1st, couples in Ireland could legally marry in the town of Telltown by just walking towards each other. They could also divorce by walking away from each other at the same spot, also on St Bridget's Day. The world's oldest solar observatory is in Ireland called Newgrange. It was built during the New Stone Age over 5,000 years ago and it puts it older than both the pyramids and Stonehenge. A uh, little fact on Newgrange is on the shortest day of the year, the 21st of December, the sunrise shines through a little mantle hole and shines through into the central chamber and it's still accurate 5,000 years later. Uh, Ireland has the longest running talk show in the world. The Late Late Show started in 1965 with Gay Byrne and has had only three different presenters from since its start. I think Pat Kenny took over for a while and now it's got Ryan Tuberty. The longest place name in Ireland, well this is not true because we found a different name in one of the other different facts. Uh, um, I'll try it, okay. Srifanauter Lugga Tora, located in Galway. I've never heard of this either, never heard of the other one either. There is a town that holds a festival called the Puck Fair, during which a wild goat is caught and king, crowned king for, six, for three days. It's hoisted on a 40 foot tall pedestal. After the festivities, the goat is set free back into the wild. Okay. Being drunk in public is an offence in Ireland. Despite what many tourists believe about the Irish and our drinking habits, it's an offence for you to be so drunk in public that you could reasonably be presumed to be a danger to yourself or anyone around you. The only day of the year where the law is slightly bent is on St Patrick's Day when there are simply aren't enough police officers to monitor the one million plus tourists on the street of Dublin. St Patrick wasn't Irish, he was Welsh. Yeah, believed to be born around 386 AD, he was in fact captured by the Irish and sold into slavery, working as a shepherd in the west of Ireland. Later in life he returned to Ireland as a missionary, hoping to sp helping to spread Christianity in Ireland. Nigerians drink more Guinness than the Irish. They can keep it, thanks. While Guinness is always Ar known as Irish, Ireland's most favourite drink, more of the black stuff is consumed each year in Nigeria than it is back home in Ireland. In fact, the Brits are the largest consumers of Guinness, followed by Nigerians, leaving Ireland in third place. <coughs> there were never any snakes in Ireland. Another surprising fact of Ireland... While many old wives will tell you the tale of St. Patrick banishing snakes from Ireland, the truth is that there never have been wild snakes in the island. Being in Ireland has helped greatly with that, and the snakes couldn't get across from Britain. They only have, I think, adders, and there's some other short worm or legless lizard or something in the UK. More Irish live outside of Ireland than in. This is true. Population of Ireland currently sits at 4.8 million and it's still almost 4 million less than the population before the Great Famine in 1845 to 1852. However, it's been reported that the almost 80 million people around the world have Irish passports. Up to, uh, up to half of the population of Australia claim Irish ancestry, while just over 39 million Americans believe they are part Irish. English is not the first language of Ireland. Uh, However, Irish is the official first language of Ireland. 
It can be seen on all official government documents as well as public transport, signs and public buildings. Despite Irish being taught as a subject in schools across Ireland, a lot of teachers, a lot of people still struggle to hold simple conversations. Oscar Ireland has, was the Titanic's last port of call. The Titanic was built by 15,000 Irish men in Belfast, which is up the top of the teddy bear in the head. While the ship officially left for America from, from Northampton in England, its last port of call was Cove in County Cork, which is um, a tiny inlet down that bottom left-hand side. The Titanic experience in Belfast is well-known visitor centre attraction in Northern Ireland. Few people visit the small coastal town in Cork, where you will find statues in memory of those who died in a small Titanic museum on what was once the old railway station. It is well worth a visit to Cove to actually see the Titanic Museum. It's a lovely little presentation. Gay marriage is now legal in Ireland. It was officially legal in a referendum uh, with 68% of the population voting in favour of new legislation in May 2015, an event that made headlines around the world. For a country that only legalised the sale of condoms in 1978 and divorce in 1997, it's incredible to see the positive and forward-thinking movements. Wild Atlantic Way is the longest coastal driving route to the world in the world. The Wild Atlantic Way is a stunning drive that stretches all the way from the cliffs around County Donegal in the far north of Ireland, top left corner of the teddy bear, all the way down to the beaches of County Cork, which is the bottom down by the feet on the left as the longest defined coastal driving route in the world. The two and a half thousand kilometre route passes through nine counties and three provinces. Argentina's navy was founded by an Irishman. Irish have made their way to the far corners of the world in the past. The Admiral William Brown is a great example of Irish accomplishments abroad. Brown was creator and first admiral of the Argentine navy and is today hailed as a hero in Argentina for his attempts to successfully protect the country from the Spanish invaders. The Irish flag was inspired by the French. The Irish tricolour of green, white and orange represents both Ireland's history with independence and its independence. The green represents the Gaelic tradition of Ireland, the orange represents the followers of William of Orange and the white represents the aspirations for peace between the two. The flag was inspired by the French flag when it was designed by Thomas Francis Marr in 1848. It was only first raised high above Dublin's GPO and recognises the Irish flag after the 1916 Rising. The shamrock is not the national symbol of Ireland. The shamrock is recognised around the world as a symbol of Ireland and all things Irish, but the harp is the actual official national symbol of Ireland. You can see the real harp on which the symbol is based in Trinity College Library, which dates back to the 15th century. Wet summers are no myth. They say it's always raining in Ireland, and the sad reality is that they're not wrong. While we Irish love to think that we can bask in the sun for hours on end during the summer, the reality is pretty grim. We had one of the wettest climates in Europe, and in summer of 2007, for instance, it rained in Ireland for 40 days straight. Ireland has summer that's about two days long. Anyway, Halloween originated in Ireland. Another fun fact about Ireland, Halloween as we know it today actually originates from the, annual, from the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain, when the people would light bonfires and wear scary costumes to ward off unwelcome spirits. Samhain is an old Gaelic word which translates to darker half, thus marking the beginning of winter. St Valentine's ashes are buried in Ireland. The ashes of St Valentine's, believe it or not, have found their resting place in a shrine inside Whitefriar Street Church in Dublin city centre. Bought here from Rome by an Irish Carmelite known for his work with the poor, the ashes were a token gift from Pope Gregory XVI. Many couples visit the shrine inside this small Irish church to ask St Valentine to watch over them and pray for a long life together. Ireland was the home to Ireland's oldest yacht club in the world. Excuse me. The Royal Cork Yacht Club, founded in 1720, is widely recognised as the world's oldest yacht club. The club plays host to Cork Week, Ireland's largest and most prestigious sailing event. It's held every two years and attracts boats and sailors from around the world. There is still a very strong tradition of sailing in most of our coastal towns and you can either hire small surf sailing boats for your own use or sign up to sailing courses in towns such as Skull and Baltimore. Okay, let's see what else we've got. More people in Irish are living abroad than there are in Ireland. Uh, there are 80 million Irish people outside of Ireland and only 
Hmm, six million in Ireland. These numbers keep changing. Anyway. The President of Ireland has very little power. The Taoiseach is the head of the government and holds and, and controls all the power. Ireland is known as the Emerald Isle because of how green it is. And it, it, you think that you might be living in a green countryside until you actually visit Ireland and the colour just blows your mind. Ireland has hundreds of accents. This is true. And each town in Ireland has its own unique flavour. And you can tell where people live from the suburbs because of their accents. Roughly 2% of Ireland of people in Ireland speak Irish daily. That is more true than the 380,000 they gave. Um, Croke Park in Dublin is the fourth biggest stadium in Europe. I went to see U2 in Croke Park when I was a teenager. No. And some Gaelic matches. Ireland ranks sixth worldwide in the average consumption of beer per person. Excuse me, Sophie is being a plum. The submarine was invented in Ireland by John Philip Holland. The, the longest place name in Ireland is Mucken Agher Der Du Holia. Try pronouncing that after you've had a few beers. Halloween was derived from the Irish festival called Samhain. 10 million pints of Guinness are produced in Dublin every day. The harp being the symbol of Ireland is featured on the front of Irish passports. Ireland has the third largest consumption of tea per capita. Uh, and the sport of hurling is over 3,000 years old. Only around 9% of Irish people are actual natural gingers. Me being one and my son being a ging too. St. Valentine was, um, is actually buried in Whitefriar. Uh, more people speak Polish at home than speak Irish. We had an awful lot come over in the 90s. Ireland is, Irish is technically the first language of Ireland, not English. Uh, abortion has been legal since 2018. The Irish flag was inspired by France. Irish surnames that begin with Mac means son of or mock means son of. And Irish surnames that begin with O mean grandson of. I thought O was of someone, so... I thought that's what the missus got. Anyway, Ireland has won the Eurovision Song Contest seven times, more times than any other country. In 1970, 1980, 1987, 92, 93, 94 and 96. Sorry, I must have been out by a year. Anyway, we couldn't afford to keep winning. So we had to throw in the towel and lose big time. Because, yeah, the, the, the streak of luck that we had was quite unreal. Bram Stoker, who wrote Dracula, is from Dublin. Dracula is said to have been inspired by an Irish legend... Abertach. Crocon uh, Cliffs on Ackle Island is the second largest cliff in Europe. It is 688 metres above Atlantic Ocean. The Tara Mine in County Meath is the largest zinc mine in Europe and the fifth largest in the world. The guillotine was used in Ireland before it was used in France. The River Shannon is the longest river in Ireland. I love that place. Since 2009, it's illegal to be drunk in public in Ireland. An Irish man designed the award given at the Oscars. Uh, Ireland has one of the youngest populations in the world because of its high birth rate, especially within the last 50 years. Uh, I did that. <laughs> I had five. <laughs> um, there have been people living in Ireland for approximately 7,000 years. Ireland has had two female presidents, more than most countries in the world. Ireland has its own ancient version of the Olympics called the Taltine Games. I've never heard of these. And in the 18th century, Cork was the largest exporter of butter in the world. The Wooden Bridge Hotel in Wicklow is the oldest hotel in Ireland and it opened in 1608. It is a beautiful neck of the woods wooden bridge. Lots of multinational companies set up offices in Ireland because of low tax rates. No, they were given tax breaks to be there. Roughly 34,000 Americans report Irish ancestry in the 2000 US census. All right, I think we're done. All right, I hope you have enjoyed listening to some Irish facts. Um, there are plenty of things that you can look up if you're interested in reading some more. Um, I will continue with this project as I go, but I just want to give you some Irish facts, seeing as I was doing something slightly Irish. 
thank you very much for joining me with these frivolous facts and um, hopefully learning a little bit more about my home country um, while you get to watch me stitching and frogging and stitching some more and hopefully getting to the end where it finally met on both directions. All right, take care of yourselves. I will see you around on the tubes and please click like, subscribe and drop me a comment if there was anything interesting in amongst there. All right, bye for now.